What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and we have of course going to be back with some more treasure map teams and I know a lot of people are going to be complaining about this treasure map and I totally agree. I really don't understand why they've gone out of their way to make this treasure map as difficult as it is, uh, especially like the intrusion and the final boss fight and even some of the uh, battle rush bosses just have really absurd gimmicks um, that make it a lot harder than what it really needs to be. Um, so... And the real problem, honestly, is the boosted list. I think that the characters that have boosted here don't really make a lot of sense. Um, the fact that they decided to make Law one of the rare recruits and then have another Law be another high booster, that is strange. Um, I mean, speaking of Law, one of the characters they really should have boosted is Treasure Map Law because he helps a lot in one of the fights in terms of dealing with special reverse. Also, there aren't many characters that remove damage immunity and the fact that treasure map jack isn't boosted either like it just doesn't make a lot of sense dude um they probably should have released another character that could also remove damage immunity because kdad is like the only good character that actually does it here so yeah really bizarre design choices for the uh for the treasure map but let's uh, actually go ahead and talk about each of these battle rush teams uh shout out to my girl carissa who was actually with me helping me formulate some of these teams here so the first team that we have is versus Apu, and uh, if you guys want to see like a more detailed discussion about each of these mini bosses, then go ahead and check out the uh, previous video where we talked about the accessible teams. But in terms of my own teams here, we've got Double Kid as the captain, and because we have Trafalgar Law as a crewmate, we can get access to his super type, and because we get access to the super type, our dex units are going to be doing more damage, of course. And then we can wave clear the first two stages with Kid's super types. And then on the final stage, we have Carrot Wanda to remove the increased defense and the special reverse. It also gives us an orb boost, which is good. And then the Law special, which will go ahead and switch into the captain spot and also enabling him to give us the damage reduction passively with his captain ability and uh, that's pretty much it you know using kids uh, and we can use kids special as well to actually just kill Apu just right out because he does 3 million damage with his special when you consume all those slots and on the revive we can just use another kid special so that'll probably last a little bit of time but of course as time progresses uh, we are probably going to be switching out the Tashigi for Hiori legend because it enables us to get the full board of Wano slots and we can keep them for multiple turns so that's probably going to be what we're going to do moving forward but as for right now this is a pretty awesome team that should be able to last quite a long time so moving on to Basil Hawkins here. Uh, Basil Hawkins is a pretty easy fight if you have the free-to-play Kaido and also Treasure Map Queen. That's pretty much all you need in order to get through it. In terms of speed farming though, we're going to be using Dofi as the captain and he actually procs his super class because we have a Kaido on the team. Super class allows us to wave clear, also cooldown reduction. And then on the final stage, we need to deal with special bind, but Dofi's captain ability removes that, which is awesome. And then we need to deal with resilience, which is why we have the support of Mihawk on Fujitora. It just means we don't have to activate another special to remove resilience and then we also have queen to remove the rainbow shield so realistically when we reach the last stage we'll use queen special and we'll use dofi special so we get a full board of slots we get attack boost orb boost and everything and then we just kill so this should be a pretty awesome team that should last pretty much throughout the entire duration of this treasure map Third Battle Rush boss versus Orochi. We're going to be using Korra and Law as the captain, which is no real surprise. We are actually using Hiori here as a crewmate. So when you reach Battle 2, there's going to be like a full board of bomb slots given to you, the crew, and also you get super bomb slots on Battle 3. The way that you're meant to get around it is by using Korra Law special on Battle 2 so that you carry the empty orb buff into Battle 3 so you can ignore the super block slots that are given to you. But also, you got to remember, Hiori as a crewmate will give a full board of Wano slots at the start of the quest, and then we can use the double wave clear with Zora Juro to get to the final boss stage. On the final boss stage, we get given super block slots. We're still going to have the Wano slot still, which is perfect for us. We have Doflamingo to get rid of the special bind. Cora Law's captain gets rid of the despair. Cora Law also provide an attack boost to our cerebral characters. And Hina is just a filler unit pretty much. So we'll have a full board of Wano slots. We'll have an orb boost. We'll have an attack boost. And we have wave clearing with Zora Wano slots. Like it's pretty basic stuff but if you have Cora Law and you have the free to play Dofi those two characters will just help you clear the entire quest straight up and then the final battle rush boss versus Kanjuro the ideal unit to be using here is Halloween Ace as your own captain because his captain ability removing special reverse and special bind so we can completely ignore those gimmicks on the quest however your friend captain will be binded for eight turns luckily Ace's special removes 10 turns of bind for the crew which is perfect 
We still have to deal with block slots and we still have to deal with five turns of increased defense. So I do have the Brule support on the Luffy and Whitebeard character. I know that Luffy and Whitebeard special, you can use their special to change all your slots for you. Um, but honestly, the reason why we're doing this is because it just saves us from activating another another special, kind of just speeding up the process a little bit. You don't need Brule at all, of course. Um, and then we have the Mihawk who's really good because his special will remove the increased defense. It gives us a chain lock and then law support will enable an orb boost for our int characters. Uh, and then we've got Vista on the team. You may wonder why he is here. He's just a double special unit that can wave clear. He does 100,000 fixed damage. Usually the mobs don't have more than 100,000 HP. So this should be a really good way in order to do that. And also because his special doesn't really have a lot of other animations. On activation, it gives an orb boost. And orb boosts don't really provide uh, like animations to waste time. So it's a pretty good unit for speed farming, these little mini bosses. And then Garp is just a relatively high point booster that works under Ace's uh, captain ability. So nothing really too crazy here. Halloween Ace is the real key here for sure. So now we get to the nitty gritty versus the Kaido fight. So no real surprise in that we are using some pretty powerful characters. We've got uh, the Zoro, the Law, and the Killer from the Sugo Fest. K-Dad from the 8.5 Annie Part 1 along with the Rare Recruit Cat Viper. So battle 2, we get a full board of tandem slots and uh, we need to use Zoro special on this stage to get around the chain attack down debuff. Also, Killer Special will remove the increased defense on Battle 2. So when we use the special ability of Killer, it's going to give us an orb boost. And then when we use the special of Zoro with the Shirahoshi support, it's going to give us a color affinity boost. So when we have an orb boost and a color affinity boost on the same team, that will allow us to activate the super class special of Zoro, which will also provide a 2.5 times attack boost. So killing stage 2 is not really going to be that big of an issue. Also, because our captain is Zoro, being a slasher unit, Killer will lock our slots. So the tandem slots and also the deck slot from Shirahoshi uh, will be locked for Battle 3, which is perfect. When we reach Battle 3, Zoro Special, being the friend captain, gets rid of the Rainbow Shield and the Threshold. The Despair is removed by the Law Special. And then we do have a barrier on that stage as well. So we can use the special ability of Cat Viper, which removes two turns of barrier. And then K-Dad can give us a really strong attack boost. He can give us a full board of matching slots. But realistically, you know, K-Dad is basically here just because he's a high booster. But also we can get access to his final tap because the whole team are slashes, which is pretty cool. I don't think it's going to get to that point where we need to use the final tap. But it's cool that the, uh, you know, it's, it's there anyway, if we do need it. So now we look at the intrusion battle versus Olin. Uh, it's a very, very similar team, but with some slight uh, changes in terms of unit positions and in terms of supports. So battle two is interesting here because you can only use two specials and there, there is a nullify damage. So what I've suggested in my accessible team video is that most people should probably just stall one turn. I know it's not the most accessible thing to do. We don't know what happens after turn one, but I think it probably is the safer thing to do. But if you have KDAD, you can use KDAD special, which will give you a full board of slots, give you an attack boost. And then with the support of Toki, it actually will give uh, KDAD their own orb boost. Now, currently, I do believe, I'm just making an assumption here, but I am guessing that Battle 2 is going to be a dex boss. If not, then we'll just take off that support. It's not really going to matter. Um, but I think it's going to be a dex boss. Now, we have to tap two times. So ideally, we tap with the Cat Viper and then KDAD. Um, but of course, we can also use Azora special on Battle 2 as well, which will give us an increased chain effect. So that's going to be pretty nice to have. And then Battle 3, the character that's in your bottom right position will be switched into the captain spot. So in this team example here, you'll see KDAD will actually become the captain instead. Now, when that actually occurs, you're also inflicted with five turns of attack down, which KDAD as a captain removes. So you don't have to worry about the attack down, which is great. You'll have to deal with Special Reverse and Paralysis. So we've got Killer for Special Reverse, Law for Paralysis, and then Law Special Ability as well will change adjacent slots into matching. So because we're only tacking with two characters on Battle 2, being Cad Viper and KDAD, or it'll be like KDAD and Zora or something, um, depending on the team, of course, uh, Law will change adjacent slots into matching. So the two characters that tapped will get a matching slot again after using KDAD Special. 
But at the end of the day, probably doesn't even matter anyway because we do have access to the super class special of KDAD giving Wano slots and Tandem slots. So realistically, doesn't actually matter. But Zora is going to be the main captain to start us off. And then uh, that's pretty much it. That is uh, all of the specials that we'll need in order to get through the fight. I believe with a friend captain Zora and the bird buff, it ends up being around a 36 times point boost multiplier, which is pretty absurd. It's the highest point boost you can get in this treasure map. So uh, I'm looking forward to jumping in and hopefully getting some more blue tickets because my blue tickets are not looking too good right now. Definitely need to stock up on some more of those. With all of that being said, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.